Hello, Hello everybody, everybody and welcome, welcome to, to Sketch, Sketch to Animate, Animate Draw Over Monday. Monday. I'm, I'm Travis, Travis Blaze. And, and guess, guess who I have with, with me today? today? I'm, all I'm all excited. I have Wink. Wink. Wink's, Wink's raising, raising his, his hands, hands, but he can't, can't see. see. Uh, you, you guys, guys can't, can't see him because it's just, just on, on me right, right now. now. I've, I've got, got the big Travis screen going. And he's over there going, when am I going to come on? So he'll have to wait patiently. But I'm here and you can hear me. And, and so, so far, far I've, I've had, had zero technical difficulties. Zero. That's, That's right. right. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited, excited about that. that. And I've and only got, got nine, nine people, people in the house, house to, to, to see, see the, the fact that I've had zero technical difficulties. There's, there's an echo. Oh, oh, really? really? So is that was that a technically a technical difficulty? God darn it. One technical difficulty. That's right, one. But I've only had nine people to witness that. So technically now, zero technical difficulties. Zero technical difficulties. Yes because I've got you on these headphones and I've got the speakers right here that are the, the microphones right there. So, all right, well, here we are. So today's the day. That's right. It's merch day. Uh, merch day. So let me, let me switch it over to uh, wink because uh, wink winks worked long and hard on this one. I think uh, he's, uh, stressed me out many a times with this uh, t-shirt so I will I will switch it over to him right now let's see if I can let's see if I can do that can I can I switch it over to the Skype I can do, or yeah I can do it here we go boom say hello wink hello <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy hello? I posted a link to the shirt. You did? Uh, let's see. Let's see the octopus logo. This is this is what it is. This is the shirt. This is it. It's minus, I think the next one we're going to do, we're going to do it with the orange. I want to do one with the orange in the background. But this is the, the logo, and I'll do it with without. There we go. That's what you're gonna be getting, and then let's add a little gray. Let's add a little, little, little gray to it. We'll, we'll just throw a little gray in the background. There you go. Is it like a blue gray shirt, or is it just a gray? It's kind of like this gray. It's like a like a cool gray shirt, like charcoal gray. Like charcoal gray. So it'd be. Like like sixty percent gray, yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. And when you do, and and this is what I was doing for my shirts. When you add a little little noise to it, 
just a slight bit of noise. Add noise. There you go. Look at now, you. Now you have the logo design, which was based on, of course, our logo. But I wanted to make it more cartoonier. And so, uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. So, so Wink, tell us. Uh, well, Steph by Tip says they love. Also, awesome. Um, Dylan says, hey, Travis, I'm still watching your questions and answers on YouTube. Yeah, see, we're co this, this uh, question and answers thing started at 4, and it's going for about an hour and 20 minutes. So are we going to just sit here in silence until that thing goes? Because I was on there live. People were watching it live. There was about 15 or 20 people on there uh, watching it uh, as it was being premiered. All the, I, did, I think I answered like 50 questions or something like that. Uh, it was quite a bit of questions, and I'm glad that we finally got them out uh, because... Yeah. Uh, that was way overdue. Uh, so, how are we doing, Wink? What's the latest? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk. It seems like everyone loves the shirt. Okay. Are people buying the shirt? Are people actually going to purchase the shirt? I've, we've had one. Mm -hmm. We've had one person buy it so far. I don't think anyone's going to get one. I may not even get one. <laughs> so we had, we, had, we, we had one person buy the shirt so far. Yes. It's okay. It, it'll eventually be my favorite shirt in my closet. Eventually? What does that mean? Eventually. I don't know. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I have a Billy Joel shirt from when I went to his concert. It's kind of up there. No, for me. not a Billy Joel. No. Oh, oh, look, we got 10 people now. 10 viewers. Tonight, I need to find... Ten Steph, Steph, Steph by Tips says, Tonight, I need to find my credit card. Uh, <laughs> your pal, Drew, says, I'm ordering one. Give me a sec. Jeez. <laughs> All right. So, tonight, ta let's talk. Um, I, I tried... I had kind of a... I was, I was kind of a downer last week, last Monday. I, I kind of... Um, I was scared everyone away. No, I was just like, yeah, I was just not feeling myself at all. I've been out of sorts the last couple of months. So. So you're a weird duck. No, I mean, truth be told, I'm going through some major transitions. So, you know, uh, yeah. So even, even people like myself who tries to be positive, can be uh, can be down every now and again. It's okay. What the Whoa. heck just happened there? Alexa decided it was time to turn my lights. Oh, I thought you were about to right like lose your battery, uh, your power go yeah. out, and then you're on uh, backup generator or something. Alexa, turn on the home office lights. You just went really low. Oh, there you go. Ooh, that's really bright over there. That. You get the, Alexa, make the home office lights 80%. Okay, that's a little... And Alexa, make the home office lights orange. Is it, that one didn't work. That didn't work. That, that didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. What's going on with that? Alexa, make the home office lights orange. That's better. Okay. So... What are we going to do today? What's, what's on the agenda? Let's talk. Let's talk. People, people, there's 10 people on here that want to know what we're doing today. We're 10 minutes into our, our conversation, and I've got a logo up here. Uh, if you guys hadn't seen, um, I, uh, anyone that was on the Patreon, we gave away the, the high-res uh, images of the drawings uh, that I did recently for... Uh, this advertising of, man, it's a lot of work. I gotta tell you, doing this advertising and getting all the stuff and running a business is a lot of work and maintaining a regular job. You're crazy. A lot of, lot of work. A lot Let of work. see here. Okay, so, uh, 
Yes. Pulling on some cool pictures. I like it. Yeah. That one was one of my favorites. Oh, this is my favorite. I might want to make this a print itself. I think I think this this is kind of a cool print. I think it would be a cool print. What do you think? Yeah? I think it's sweet. I like it. Dylan just walked away with his shirt. Super excited. There you go. I'm excited. You're excited. We're all excited. This, this one came out cool, kind of cute too. This little, this little guy. This little guy. Very appealing. Yes. I approve. So. Yes. I I don't know. Do we get any submissions for draw versus um, Monday? I don't know if we did. We did last week. Let's see what we got here. Let me let me find let me find if we have anything. Uh, I was just I was thought you were gonna talk, man, because you you know you've been out for a week and um, I had to do a lot of talking myself, and so. Oh. I had a, I had a small family emergency. And I had to travel up to New York, so we were driving to go see my mom, and then we we're halfway to New York, so we just continued driving, and then uh, I was out there for like a week, so came back and uh, just trying to get my head, you know, back in the game and get everything under control. Get your head in the game, get like... your head in the game, get your head in the game. Yeah, we were out for like eight days. It's crazy. Yeah, man. So, uh... Just trying to, you know, get back to normal. Thankfully, I have summers off, and I have the ability to do something like that if I had to. I think this is what Winkle so, looks like if he wears a shirt. This is what Winkle looked like. No, I've been losing weight, bro. <laughs> yeah, more like that one. Yeah, That's what I meant, this one. Oh. Okay, hold on one second. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna look. I'm looking in my draw over Mondays uh, thing here. Do we have anything from people? Uh, we have. Do, 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 do. Let's see, we're up to twelve people now. Welcome, twelve people of our e <laughs> evenings Twitch event, where we are releasing the live premiere of our. 50 questions to be answered from our master class, which loaded up on YouTube and started over an hour and a half ago. You can watch it on the replay if you were part of the master class. It will answer a lot of the questions that you guys asked during that. And if you weren't a part of it, I think it would also answer questions that you may have to ask. Yeah, I think I think that would I think that's fair to say. It would be good. It's a good. It's uh, good Q and A. I'm looking in here. I'm looking in here right now. I I remember seeing something. Uh, what was last Monday? What was the date of last Monday? That would be the thirty first. The thirty first. Okay. All right. So let me. Let me. So I just ate my dinner. All four pretzel chips and then. Five pretzel chips is and a smash of <laughs> tablespoon of hummus. Okay, so <laughs> so let's see. Last year or last year, last Monday, I got something from Delilah. Uh, hey there, Delilah. Uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm no, gonna... no one else thought of that immediately. <laughs> I did. Uh, okay, so I have something from uh, Need help with design development. I thought you guys would be a good would be good for the job considering how well you helped last time Past well, he, he kind of liked to st Past present. Okay, so past is well He kind of liked to steal materials and make bombs in his garage when he was younger I guess that hobby really took over his lifestyle he had lots of friends, but he doesn't talk the, to the majority of them. Now due to distance, beef, etc. Uh, but he has a few close friends now. He lives a pretty normal life, 
money-wise has well. Money, uh, normal life, money-wise has well. His parents never really approved of his bad choices, but you know, YOLO. So this is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Paris, do you know YOLO? Too? No, I don't know. What's YOLO? <laughs> you only live oh, once. You only live once. Okay, YOLO, present. Now he kind of blew up a store on accident and when questioned about his morals and where uh, and where he and where he got the materials, he kind of placed all the blame on his brother. So his brother is now in jail because of Visker. Viscar. Viscar. Visker. I mean, he regrets a little, but still works with explosives. It led into his career working on house demos and stuff like that. But he may or may not have a sketchy side gig. Or uh, I should mention his brother already did more bad questionable things that could put him in jail anyways. So that is, hmm. that was, I guess I helped them, we helped them with expert. something before. I vaguely remember this. Uh, Need help with design development. I thought you guys would be good for the job considering how well you helped the last time. Uh, I don't know. Let's see the design they well, got. <coughs> they asked the, the word document. The design needs to get bigger here. You got to scroll the next page. Yeah. So. Um, Do you remember this person's drawing from before? Because I... I don't remember this character. I remember the style. I remember the style, too. But I don't remember this. But it was from a long... It was from our earlier shows. Yeah, and I can't remember if Delilah... Delilah? I want to say Delilah. Yes? I don't know. I can't see where you're reading it from. Well, let me let me go to the oh, Delilah. I got to them with their email like that. Yeah, Delilah. Yeah, Delilah Smith. They go as Chaos Cloud. So I think. I'm trying to figure out what this character is, if I can remember correctly. Um, and what I want to do is, I I can grab this, right? I can say export this. How do I export this out off of this Google Doc? Uh, I don't know. I've always just screenshotted it. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Let's do a screenshot. Boom, done. All right, Delilah. We're gonna go ahead and, and do something with this. So I'm gonna open it up. Open. Uh, bring this up. And what do we got here? We got screenshot. Is that the right screenshot? That is. All right, we got the right screenshot. Let's ex let's make this image a little bit bigger. Uh, I mean, so it's, today, it's it's a it's a, mouse, it's a what's that? Today, instead of a mouse, Travis is using a rock on top of a piece of glass. Uh, yes. By the sounds of it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of blue gray on this one. Okay. So. <coughs> let's get a little, let's have fun with this thing. So this character looks kind of chunky. He's got a lot of. Uh, a lot of ammo, it looks like, or darts, or something on its chest. It's got a tie. It's got a color palette. It's got a necklace with a lock on it. Uh, caution. It's 
got uh oh it's like, a cat bombs yeah it's, it's a, cat, a cat but it's got bombs around like the the look right below its knee yeah Let's see here i'm gonna that's what i All right, so let's have some fun with this. So I'm 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 approving. I'm assuming they want me to do a design of it, like my what my aesthetic does would be for something like this. Uh, so I'm just looking at its the the shapes of what they have and. Uh, What's interesting is they, they've decided to go with these kind of heavy legs. There we go. So I'm just trying to create a shape here. Uh, you're being very quiet, uh, Wink. So I want you to do some talking. I, I'm talking. You were you were talking. You want me just, I can run you over yeah. and just be like, "Hey, no, don't don't say okay. that." Yeah, please do that. <laughs> no, you're doing good. I like the I like what you're how you're changing up the the pose. So I think one thing definitely to talk about is. To people about when they're creating like conceptual art um, to think about posing the character not just in like a way that'll help the production but in a way that will help read the anatomy uh, yes I, I would agree to that that's good <laughs> I would sign up for that uh, What other what other things like while you're changing the pose here? What made you think, and why did you change to this pose stuff? Well, I want to see what it looks like in three three dimensions, and I'm trying to think cat like. And uh, what's interesting is this they they man their design. It's kind of it's kind of interesting the way they've their aesthetic choices to design this character with all this detail, like a lot of detail. Yeah. Well, so maybe you'd say simplify it if you could. Uh, I guess, but at the same time, all right. So what's, what is going on here? I can't quite figure out what's Something behind perfect. it. So I'm assuming that it's, their their hair is just coming down. There's something like this. Something that uh, uh, Brush Mechanics brought up is that uh, the legs may be a perspective choice. Maybe like uh, the for in, farther in the foreground to make them look longer. But I do like kind of like the bell bottom kind of feel that you're going with there. The shape change is neat. Yeah, I I think. Oh, well, I'm tr I'm trying to think. You know, if if I made this like these were going to be paws. Uh, and it, it almost feels like a rat tail, does it not? Mhm. Mm I agree. And they've got a nice little. X right here thing going uh, and they're they got a bow tie and it's underneath I would put it the bow tie over everything but that's me and then of course man their hands are really interesting Okay. I feel like there's some, some element of uh, space for you to offer, you know, criticism as far as, like, 
ways they could improve the anatomy or make it more cohesive well, I here. don't know, because I, I kind of like the shape language that they've got going. I'm just trying to make it um, more like how I would approach it, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I love the, the shape shapes that they've put into this. Uh. Oh, awesome. Everyone give a little shout out to Drew. Uh, your pal Drew got a hired to illustrate a graphic novel. Uh, that's kind of cool. Amazing. Congrats, man. Uh, so you got to tell me, tell me about it. What's, what's the, what's the graphic novel? What, what are you going to do? Um, are you, are you allowed to uh, tell me? Uh, do you mean, you need me to do some drawovers for you? <laughs> what do you, what do you want? What do you want? Travis, you need Travis to pose for you. He makes a really good model. I don't hold still. That's the best kind of model. <laughs> I don't hold still at all. So I feel like, uh, uh, I don't know if this, yeah, I kind of like this, what I just did. You, you tell me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to add a little, little color. Oh, let me do my lasso thing. My lasso thing. I haven't flexed hard enough yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and here's use the lasso tool for a minute. You know, we also got to think about doing once I get more bandwidth is doing back, going back to the arc. Going back to arc and doing yeah, some arc idea. stuff. Uh, they have a color palette. What is their, uh -huh. what is their color palette? What, what can you see over here in terms of their color palette? I, you, you graded out. I'd, I'd have to. You'd have to drop the background for me to see it. It looks like red, blue, yellow. Red, yellow, blue, green. And then, like, there's lighter variations. So, like, light red and light blue. What would blue. their hair be? Yellow. Like a yellow color. Uh, I'm sorry, green's not correct. It's black. Brush Mechanics said that they would love to see much more of Ark. How would you guys like to see that turn into a show? And the next question would be, would you help support that show if we wanted to independently make it? I think we can do I, I had a conversation with my writing partner because I'm down in LA now and I brought up this fact that I think we could turn it into an independent film that we could get that at least the pilot show running up and running on it. And he's like, Yeah, I don't know, maybe, kind of, I don't know, possibly. The the Kickstarter that we supported um, a couple episodes back, there they got funded. How much did yeah, but cool. we would need about $150,000 probably to get it going. I think even if we could get it started, we could, we could raise a good amount. We would need to raise about $150,000 to, to make it a show. Typically, those yes. shows uh, run uh, around uh, $500,000 know, for a high-end show. Five hundred Between five hundred and eight hundred thousand. dollars and $800,000. Per That's episode. like a Disney, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network type budget. Per episode. Per episode. 
Correct. Yeah. So let's see here. So Drew said they would like to. Will they get to see the three D model of Gallant anytime soon? Um, you know what? I would love to see that, but I don't know when it's going to happen yet because they they got caught as they were working on it. Then they got caught up in um, working on uh, some actual paying gigs. So as you know, paying gigs come first. Does anyone hear a high pitch ringing noise? Yes. Sometimes I can. It's it's hear. it's coming from here. It's not me. It's coming from here, not you. It, it's, Got it's, it. It's um, it's some kind of water pressure. I've been hearing it a lot lately here, so um, I I couldn't tell you. It it fades in and out of a frequency I can hear, which you know loudspeakers and dancing in clubs has kind of limited my range. So I am watching my whole window like light up in bright white squares. Like it's, it blows out the window when the lightning strikes around me right now. Right. So there is a very real chance I could disappear everybody. Well, that's cool. Uh, um, I mean, not cool that you would disappear, but cool that, you know, you might disappear. <laughs> cool not cool I don't know is that so I'm trying to give it a little bit of texture here ooh I heard that that wasn't even the biggest one yet alright did you hear? Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Oh, I'm here. It's like, where's my dad? You're not my dad. That would be. That would be Bodie, looking for his dad. I think another thing to comment on this too uh -huh. is how you took the design and it took it away from like a flat variation and give it a little bit of depth and life so that when the character turns it has more form. I think that's a, a big thing to bring up and comment. Um, I'm not sure if previously the, the flat style was what they were going for, but you definitely added more depth to the character from here. Uh, you know, I think I did, um, but I'm just trying to kind of give it a, an aesthetic appeal that um, if they wanted to kind of go this direction that they could, and they could still make it flat graphic. I just decided because uh, they wanted to just have me go for this which is what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going for it. Um, <laughs> Drew said, I love Stone Assurance, but as a tall person, I really shouldn't. I'm the path of least resistance. <laughs> All right. Do they not get thunderstorms in the West Coast? No, they don't. I mean, we we've gotten some pretty good thunderstorms, uh, thunder and lightning in Seattle, and when we do get it, they freak out. Everyone freaks out. They're like, "Oh my god!" And sometimes the power does go out, but the when we get it there, it's it becomes in like huge thunder and lightning, and and then then they don't get anything at all. So it's 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 like a weird kind of combination of like getting getting um, no rain at all like well I mean getting rains but lots of just dri drizzling rain or get 
no rain and this like this incredible thunder because like most of the time that whenever I hear the thunderstorms up there it doesn't it doesn't really come with rain just a lot of lightning every time I hear thunder I just think of Angus Smith moaning in the background Angus Smith. From ACDC. Yeah. <laughs> Bad dad joke. Oh, I saw a shirt the other day. It said, dad joke, or do you mean rad joke? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. It's okay. I have plenty of old jokes for you later. Old jokes. Didn't I say Angus Young? Am I bad? Angus, did I say Angus Smith? Ugh. Angus Young. Sorry, Dylan. Sorry, all of ACDC. Sorry, world. I'm, I'm bad. Uh, yeah, you are. Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, you got a lot of details. It's okay, you're pretty cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. Who are you talking to? Dylan. Dylan. Don't tell him he's cool, man. That's not cool. It's okay. Wait, that's not what I wanted. That's what, no, not that. I wanted this. There you go. Let's do. I like the yellow hair and the orange tips on the ears. I think you should dye, like, make it look like the hair is dyed so it kind of looks like flames. Oh, I do hear some of that frequency. Yeah, it's the. Uh, it's some kind of. I think it's some kind of water pressure. I gotta ask them what it is. Because, like, I'm staying at my friend's house, so as I'm doing this live stream, they're making dinner for the kids. We've got 12 people today. It's only at 12 people. Should I do something interesting? Should I, after I do this, should I animate something? Uh, yeah. And so I think it's the 12 best people. Uh, well, it's the 12 consistent people hey that works best is also close yes <laughs> animation you know what i'd like to see hey we got skrillex uh skrill rexy yeah skrill rexy how's that i don't think we've met yet oh, nice to meet yeah, you. you i'm you, with you that's crap we've met before skrillex uh, maybe. They're part of the Discord. Oh. That's right. They're on the other side of the world. It's hard for them to come to the live show. But I do remember you from uh, the Discord. Do you know? Do you? Do you? I do. It takes do a minute. You? I hit my really hard one time. And, you know, things haven't been the same. Um, you, you've used that excuse a lot. It, you know, it's a common reoccurrence in my life. However, Steph by Tibbs says that uh, she counts for 10 people. So there's that. That is true. <laughs> that is very true. 
and see Pewitt said, uh, since I'm one of the best, I figured I would quit lurking and say hello. <laughs> Well, thank you for that. Um, Thanks for saying hi. 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 Uh, hi. 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 You know, and that kind of goes out for everybody. You know, even if you just kind of got it on the background, you occasionally pop on and just throw out a little hello, Travis, you're old, mm. you know, something like that. And then, you know, we get, we get some of these, you know, conversations going. It also helps us as as a Twitch streamer if you guys chat in there in the boxes. So it does help us. Right on. On one hand, you want these streams to get really popular. But on the other hand, I like that our messages don't get in a lost wave of text or other streams. Yes. So, you know, I, I like having the small knit community uh, for us on on Twitch that we get to have this like intimate conversation back and forth and, you know, not too much goes by, but then at the same time, um, you know, there's always ways for us to, you know, improve or change the way the chat goes by. Um, I just don't limit it right now because, you know, we have a manageable, uh, group of people that join us every Monday. It's kind of like a classroom. Yeah. It is. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to do this. So if Travis is going to animate something next, what should he animate? Yes. You need to give me... Help us out here. Well, give us some ideas. I have plenty of little ideas of things I'd like him to animate. Like, I think it would be really cool for him to animate something with good squash and stretch. Oh, everything I do is going to have good squash and stretch. Eh, yeah, I guess. I, You know what? Let me put it this way. What would be cool is if you did a thing where you kind of like started going through and we, we could put this on our social, right? But, uh, a good example of the 12 principles, but like Travis five, I don't even know if I know, you know what like, the 12 principles are. You don't know the 12 principles. If I, uh, by heart, no. But here's a, I here's the reality of that. I know them instinctually. You should. Okay. So, squash let's and stretch. Go through, let's go through the 12 principles and let's talk about it. All right. So That way I won't principles. forget. Do you want to talk about them like as I mention them or do you want to talk about them like after I give you the no. list? Let's talk about them as you mention them. All right. Squash and stretch. Okay. That's number one. Straw, squash and stretch. Okay, that's that's one of the principles. Okay, are they in? Are they supposed to be in a particular order? No. Um, it's uh, it was uh, I'm pretty sure it was coined in the illusion of life, and so uh, often I think the list comes from when the order was written in that book. Okay, so st stretch and squash. Uh, anticipation. Anticipation. Do they also have um, uh, straights against curves? That, but that's not the twelve principles. That's more like design. That's a yeah. Um, okay. They have staging. Okay. Is uh, silhouette part of it? Again, go ahead. Staging. No, that would be silhouette would kind of under solid drawing which is another one. So you have staging, solid drawing, which is usually the hardest one to explain to people because it means just good drawing. Okay. Um, then you have straight ahead and pose to pose. Uh, which is what I do. I do a combination of both. Yep. Uh-huh. What else? Follow through and overlap. Uh-huh. 
follow through. That's that's something I'm bad at. <laughs> I'm slow talking. I'm not talking about out. animation. I'm just <laughs> if anyone got that one. You're a, you're a bad man. <sighs> Anyways. Slow in and slow out. You're a slow in and slow out. That's Your right. Your face is a slow in and Arcs. slow out. Arcs. Not the show, but the actual, like, arc. Okay. Secondary action. You're a secondary action. Timing. Mm-hmm. Exaggeration. Uh-huh. And appeal. And appeal. Okay. I think I think we get it. We could have you animate a little like you know. These are the twelve principles of animation. Just like they used to do the the goofy instructions. Uh okay. So how do we want to go about doing this? Uh, I'd imagine we'd have to kind of like ideate, but let's see what other ideas people came through. We could always do that another day. Let's see here. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Drew said something eye-catching for the social medias would be nice. People like action. Okay. Drew said, I'd like to see Travis take on a Chinese dragon. Ooh. Um, maybe something uh, to celebrate the coming summer. Isn't summer already here? It's June. It's June, baby. Uh, Steph said, I would love to see an object as a character... With lots of squash and stretch, like Beauty and the Beast. And Drew said, one of the art characters swimming in zero uh, gravity. Oh, that sounds like fun. I like that one. Then uh, Skrillex said, the way Travis teases Wink always cracks me up. <laughs> it should, because he likes to throw me off my game and get me to forget what I'm talking about. <laughs> See here. Yes, Goofy, do one a week, and then put it all together. Yes, I agree. Um, summer starts June 21st? Good gosh. <laughs> so what does, this, what does everyone think of this thing that I'm doing right now? I don't know. Let's ask. What do y'all think? What do you think of the uh, drawover of our cat explosion creature? Freshman King said that she wants to see Linus putting his shirt on. Wants to see who? Linus. Linus. Linus as in peanuts? She didn't elaborate. I mean... <laughs> they all think your cat is, is approved. It translated great to a more three style. That's a tricky thing to do with a lot of artists. Steph is cat approves of your cat drawing. Okay. Awesome. The approval of the overlord has, has come down and blessed you. Uh, nice. This and, and who is the overlord? The cats. You didn't know that? They're the dominant race? The cats are the dominant race? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see here. All right, so I think this is cool. I made an interesting looking character. For now. Agreed. 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 Yes. Egregiously agreed. Oh, you know what they... I don't agree, but just disagree. 
just agree. One thing I forgot to do uh, that probably is important. And I'll eat. Wait, so Brush Mechanic said that you said the octopus's name is Linus. Huh? She said that she thought you said the octopus from your octopus logo, the purple octopus you drew. No, well, his name is. Linus. It's not Linus. It is. Hold on. Now I'm forgetting. I'm second guessing myself here. Uh, go to the story. Uh huh. And then you go to uh, the story of it, and let's see here. Nothing will make me die laughing harder than if it is. If it is. Uh, storytelling. Well, where is it? Where is our... What are you looking for? About us. Why am I... About, here we go. Our story. It's at the bottom. Yeah, there, there you go. It's at the bottom. It's right next to about. Kato. It was Kato. Kato. Kate. Yeah. Duh. So... Kato. Also, too, Skrillex said it right. Dogs have uh, masters. Cats have slaves. So... <laughs> So here you go, guys. So Kato is the octopus. It's okay. Brush, it was not your fault. I, bl I was blaming Travis. What do you mean? I it, I was thinking lines from Charlie Brown too, Steph. I was thinking the same thing too. All right. So what? A I would be amazed. If you could figure out how to make an octopus put a shirt on, but this one has dark rings under its eyes, so I forgot to draw the dark rings under its eyes. So I wanted to make sure. <laughs> that I did that. Steph says, I vote for a name change to Larry the Octopus. Larry? How about Daryl? Daryl. How about Susan? How about Francis? <laughs> Francis. All right. Walter. We can name him Walter. Oh, Walter Yoder. I've missed that. I was thinking after the, after the, the Disney man, but you know. <laughs> well, Walter's the one that's doing our uh, our Gallus character. Yeah. What about the other Daryl? <laughs> the other Daryl. Uh, you can name him Pat. Things androgynous. Okay. I'm just going to add a little bit more here. Just a little bit more. You noodling a drawing? I can't believe. It. Blown away. All right. I like this one. I'm going to leave it alone, except for when I do this. I like it. I approve. Romans! Romans made it to the room. Hello, Romans. Hello, Roman. Hello, Roman. Hello. Roman. Carl Hackman. Oh. Hi, Travis. Found you through Aaron's YouTube channel. Well, welcome, Carl. Nice Carl. to you. Hi, Carl. Yes. Yeah, Travis has never noodled before. This is like a, a weird occurrence yeah. you guys are witnessing. 
I never, ever, ever noodle. Never. Never, 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 never. Never give up. Well, welcome, Carl. Have you ever, uh, you've never seen one of our shows before? This should be an interesting thing. However, you've made it through all of our technical difficulties and are seeing a flawless show. <laughs> uh, a near flawless show, I would say. Near flawless show. Well, welcome, Carl. It's okay. It doesn't matter what age you are. From 1 to 99, you still got this. You can get back in the game. All right. I, I'm done for this one. Let's move it on. That's okay. All right. There you go. Ooh, our duck is here. We're going to... Hasn't been here in a while, but happy to see Ron here. Thanks. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Well, what did we call this character again? <laughs> so, Travis, you remember that one time that you noodled for so long the stream was like four and a half hours? Uh, that was a long noodle. <laughs> that, was, that was the longest noodle, man. I was full by the time I got halfway through that. I was already full. I was ready for dessert. All right, so Ooh. I'm just going to call it YOLO. YOLO! We'll, we'll... Roman said, ha, ha, hope you guys are doing well. I'm currently recouping from an exhausting weekend on a film set. Mosquito bites and allergies galore. Oh, yeah. I know how you feel. I've been there many a time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's Let's see, we'll call it chaos. Well, Carl, if you did a digital painting of your character for your novel, you know, the whole point of this show is we do drawovers on Drawover Monday. So if you send it in next week, we can, you know, put you on the slate and give you a critique if you like one. Maybe help uh, push your character to a new stage you didn't think you can go. Yeah, see? They're stiff. 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 Stiff, stiff. Chiming in, giving the same advice. Wait, what did I, what am I doing wrong here? I said new folder. Okay. Yeah, we'd be happy to do that with you, Carl. Great. Oh, it's underneath. That's why. Why didn't it tell me that? <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. Did you crash it? It's not doing it's not doing anything. What the heck? What'd you do? I don't know. What, Travis? What'd you do? It won't let me. If you click some more, it'll definitely start working. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a. Whatever. Okay, man. Uh... It's still operating, so don't force quit it. No. You'll lose the. Oh, no. Well, you won't lose the drawing. If you force quit it, it'll save the drawing. Right, well, I'm, st I'm, I'm still going to do this, though, just in case. I'm still screen grabbing. All right, I'm force quitting this sucker. Because that was annoying, like you. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to it. Let's see Roman's got to film a beautiful Queen Anne style home built in the 1888, full of grand staircases, stained glass windows. Uh, the bat. Wait, the Queen Anne style? It's Queen Anne style homes. Queen, Queen uh, Anne is was, in Seattle. That's a place in Seattle. I think uh, he's talking about some place overseas because we didn't have buildings like right. that. Um, 
new folder. But there was there was a baby bat in the in there and at the location and it made him think of the master class. Okay. Carl, I'm gonna put a link here in the chat. We're gonna keep this as a draw over Monday. And if you go there to our website, on our website we have uh, a section in the menu for sketch uh, draw over Mondays, and it'll have instructions for sending it to us via Google Drive. Um, you can send it to us as a PSD, a JPEG, whatever you got. Uh, Travis is even familiar with uh, um, chisel and rock. You know, his native form of creating art, so you're fine. Let's see here. That, that is the lamest, oldest, s dumbest, cons most consistent joke you do on this live stream, like, every day. Because I love you and I like to be consistent. That is true. <laughs> All right, so see here. Skrill Skrillex says... Uh, when is the last time Travis has uh, done a big painting that has lasted days or weeks to make? Or does he even like to do those kinds of things? I don't like to do those to kinds of things. Let's let's be perfectly honest here. Let's, let's just be perfectly honest. I don't do, I don't like to do those things that take a long time like that. That's, that's like, um, I don't know see here I do I those are the kind of paintings I do but I can't do what Travis does so perfectly I can do what you do I just don't want to yeah see so that makes Travis better than me no <laughs> it doesn't Of course, Carl. Lots of love. All right, so... Are you, are you animating an octopus putting a shirt on for us? No. I'm animating one of the characters floating in the air swimming. Um, okay. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Everyone said, Sue! Oh, Steph says we need to do a meetup in Orlando. Oh, that would be awesome. Um, I'd be down. I should I should go to Florida at some point. That would be a good idea. I concur. I'm working on. Oh, I am working on Aaron's uh, snow bear. I think I mentioned that to you guys. Uh -huh. uh, I'm working on that at the moment. Yeah, it's almost like you have friends and family in Orlando. Almost. Well, I don't know if they would consider me family. Or friends, really. Well, that that's... <laughs> that's not far from the truth, my friend. Not far from the truth. Well, we love each other. Huh? Said, oh, we love you, Travis. Mm. Billy Jean said, hearing you say that, Travis, made my life so much easier all of a sudden. About doing stuff that takes uh, too much time. Drew said, "Master class in Florida." Hmm. Mm. Ooh. Well, that could be cool. That that could be cool. Uh, let's talk about the master class that we're talking about doing in July. I I think that's a wonderful let's idea. Let's talk about that right now. Do you want to mention both? Uh, the all three topics we talked yes, about? Yes, I do. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Yep. So while he's drawing there and uh, animating this, so I had kind of laid out what the rest of our summer plans are going to be for what we're doing. And we have yet to set a date, but everyone who's here on the stream will get early heads up. We're going to do a master class at like, Middle to end of Ju uh, middle to end of July, right? Yes. Yeah, middle to end of July, 
where uh, we're going to do storyboarding for features. Uh, we kind of mentioned that like loosely in the past, um, but it's definitely happening now. The, so we have a lot of the content and everything ready lined well, up for the, it. Well, the, the, the problem with, but I will say the problem with doing that is most of my future content that I want to advertise, I cannot advertise because it's under, I'm under NDA. Yes. So. So there's an element of there's some things he can't show in his in his marketing collateral to to tell everyone about his skills, but we'll we'll be able to get around that. I think we'll be okay. However, um, I think the the more exciting one is uh, so uh, we we were talking about like how we wanted to do something about like building a portfolio and. Um, how to make like a strong demo reel for storyboard um, and animation and character design. And so we kind of brainstormed a little bit and we came up with this concept that we would do basically um, in August, we would kick it off and we would kick off our premium content with a two day workshop. Now, Day one, it would be two different workshops. So you could buy one or the other or both. And it's a um, one on building a portfolio and demo reel just on one day for just animation or one just for storyboarding. Basically going through like advice and what should be in the in the demo reel what the work should look like, critiquing and giving some examples, pulling up, um, you know, work to, to go over and talk about what makes one stronger versus the other, um, staples that should be in your portfolio while showing breath and another, um, and just covering that. Uh, that in general was a topic that's come up a lot in people reaching out to us on social and so forth. So bringing that up. The other part, uh, that brings that about is that what we've seen is a lot of people need a lot more instruction, a lot more one-on-one -on -one, and um, are looking for more time with Travis specifically about their work and um, not necessarily just lectures from us, but being able to review their work, give direct feedback, walk away like a classroom setting. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a six week mentorship program where there's only a handful of people will get in and they'll get to take one of those initial workshops about their topic. And then every week we have delivered content uh, over the course of six weeks where you're sending us deliverables. Like we'll tell you, you know, you have to send us a write up about your dreams and aspirations and what your goals are and, send us your current demo reel and your resume and all that jazz. And then we'll look at it. We'll provide notes and we can give a more tailored experience, like a direct mentorship with Travis and me. I'm, I'm like the little guy in this, but Travis, you know, being able to give you direct feedback as a mentorship um, and help you build the portfolio you're looking to build so that by the end of August, early September, you should be able to walk away with a with something that's ready to apply for jobs in a strong fashion. So this is for something for people to come who've who've got work that they've done that they're either looking to get feedback about what work to keep, what keep what work they need to add, or um, just building upon this. And um, so we're kind of like talking about like numbers and how we can make it affordable and include, um, but we're also gonna have a workshop that'll happen halfway through that is just for those people in that mentorship um, that will later be a video class we'll offer, but it'll be a live event where Travis is covering story and storytelling, and that'll be in there as well. So it's, it's a pretty like content-rich summer coming up. Um, and so we're just kind of, we wanted to make sure that we got the shirts released to you guys today. And, uh, we've been 
putting all this content together and we're just going to be announcing dates coming soon. So keep your eye out. Um, the, the mentorship is going to be very limited seating this time um, for our first one, but we do plan to do it again in the future, but it might be another year until you see it again. So um, I think it'll be good and strong. I think it's going to be one of the best things we've done yet. Okay. And I'm excited. Um, uh, so yeah. yeah, so that's cool. That's, that's me. So, um, yeah, you got to tell me more about this. I, I, I want to join it. How do I join it? How do you join it? You stay involved in our social channels. Uh, keep coming to, to draw over Mondays. We'll always give our draw over Monday, uh, family a little heads up when things are happening uh -huh. so that they, they know where to keep their ear to the ground ready for when it releases. Again, like it's going to be one of those things with the limited seating when we post it on social and it's ready to, to book, um, it's going to go quick. Uh, what do people think of this? I'm, I'm hearing a lot of dead air. I don't... Uh, the dead air would be that uh, Drew is trying to find the link to the mentorship already right now. He said, dibs on the mentorship, no take backs. And uh, Steph said, love that, dibs too. And Roman says, love this. Absolutely looking forward to hearing more about these. And then Drew said, you're all on top of this. Can't wait for all this to take place. And Roman said, this is going to be awesome. I agree. I think it's great. super awesome. So I think this kind of content is really going to kind of start to change the game for storyboarding and what's out there for people and animate and like, you know, animation in general. I think having accessibility to this stuff would be really helpful. I'm trying to see if I should have one leg up and one leg down. Uh -huh. I'm trying to... Carl, you're fine. What's going on? Carl is talking to me about Google Drive. Carl, you're doing good. Stick it out. You'll get there. Uh, something's going on with Google Drive? No, he's just making a folder, going through the process. Doesn't sound like he's a, he's big into Google Drive, so it's a learning curve. Um, but don't forget to come back, Carl, next week, or at least watch our video once we once we release it. And uh, when we do your, your draw, we love to have you guys here when we're doing it. That way we can um, talk to you about your your character and get feedback. Wait, Carl's leaving? No, no, no. It's just we're, we're probably not going to be able to get to his character tonight. Oh, I see. He has a, he has a submission for drawers. Oh, okay. That's cool. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this kick. Yes, Carl, definitely join our Discord. Um, there are many people here who, uh, and I myself included, can help you get started with that. But it's a great place where we talk, and we have over 500 people uh, on I our Discord chatting. I think we have over 600 people. Over 600 I people logging on daily and chatting on Discord. So it's been yeah, great. It's been. It's uh, Steph has a question for you, Travis. Sure. Can you talk about what you're currently thinking about with your animation in relation to timing and et cetera? Yeah, so what I'm, what I'm trying to do is try to figure out what kind of kick I, I want to do with each leg. If I want them doing kind of her doing this kind of kicking action while she's doing the breaststroke. So she's kicking her leg, but then doing this. So... I'm trying to retime that kind of action. So the, 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 the body's twisting a little bit. And then this foot is coming down slightly. This I'm going to keep it right in here. This are this. This leg is going to come back up again. And then I'm 
trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this twist, this kick to work correctly. So I'm trying to figure out how that twist of the leg would work and how the hip would work coming down in this other leg that's kicking. So it's, that's what I should have done. I should have done this kick like that and then So she's going through the air. Boom. So I'm trying to figure out where my stretch and squash is with stretch and squash. Hey, there's part of the principles. <laughs> Definitely is one. That's probably the number one. That stretch and squash into that leg. Clear silhouette. I'm trying to make a clear silhouette. You know, good, good composition. Solid drawing. Solid drawings. I'm definitely trying to do that solid drawing aspect. Appeal. Appeal. I don't, Very you know, appealing. I mean, it would be great if she was appealing. Cute little feet flutters. I actually really like how far forward that that uh, leg swings for the the swim, like under the belly there. Yeah. I actually find that like rather appealing. It's got some good exaggeration. Your compliments are rather appealing. Yeah, you know. You know what? I think that when working together with coworkers and friends and classmates. The people complimenting each other enough. I think they're so concerned about telling someone what's, what's wrong about their work versus telling them what is right so they continue to do it well. Personal opinion. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm wondering if I should do... Like this. All right. So I'm trying to get that, where's that extreme pose going to go? And then that's going to in between back into the, the this is going to be a loop. So I've got to make sure that this loop connects. Boom. So I need to do an opposite of this. So this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna take that. And I'm going to add another layer. And then I'm going to loop over this or trace over this, and then I'm going to do the reciprocal. Let's see here. So this hand is the reciprocal of the other hand, and this hand
is going to be up here. And then that leg is going to be right here. And this Uh, can you hear the kids? A little bit, but that's okay. So what happens when you're staying with your friends and they have kids? They, I have they kids. make noises. Mm hmm Most definitely. They do. All right. And so... so comes in here Let's see if I can make this I'll try to hurry up and get this done so that we can go ahead and at least see how the how the blocking of it is what's our time right now 8:22 you got about 30 minutes left right. oh we can do this you can do it <laughs> Drew said, I say we bring back four and a half hour streams. Oh God. What are you are you nuts? I think we could bring bring back longer streams, but it's gonna take some time. It's gonna be a year or longer till we can bring back the bigger the longer streams. We might be able to stream more often. Um, we need to bring, we need to come, we need to do in other streams other than just Monday, draw over Monday. We need to do, we need to get that, the YouTube thing going with, uh, for sure. Like, uh, I agree. And I want to get the, cause I told myself that this was the year also that I wanted to get, um, our show arc going. Agreed. But the problem is bandwidth. Yep. All right, let's see if I can do this.
What are we on time now? Where are we? We're doing okay. Yeah. Uh, so generally, the the feedback was that they'd like to see more streams. Okay. Uh, Drew said I'll just have to restart rewatching the arc streams. All right. And then uh, Billy Jean said, "Any stream is a good stream for now." Roman said, "Bandwidth, the bane of all stream existence, <laughs> streaming existence." Yes. Yeah, it's 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 tough. It's hard to to create that balance between you know, like full time job that pays the bills, and being able to you know just dedicate more to doing this. But you know, as we progress and and you know, I, it just it's happening. So it's it's great. I'm really enjoying it. So I think Travis is enjoying it too. So. You know, I am. Um, I am. And I think uh, I'll enjoy it more once we get our first tutorial out the door uh, and get it to you guys. I mean, we got the t-shirts now, which I'm pretty excited about. We're going to be doing another master class, but we have to get that one. The first tutorial I want to do for you guys is the... the the, top, the 50 most common shots used in storyboarding uh, for animation. And I want to uh, go through that, and, uh, and that's going to be our first tutorial. And that's going to be our approach to uh, those, sh those types of shots and what are essential for storytelling, which I think is going to be our first one. That's what we said, right? For sure. Say that again. The, the, the fifty kind of, most, the 50 that, most were... common shots used in in yes. storyboarding for animation. Uh, yes, and we'll go through we'll one. go through what they look like for features as well as what they go look like for for. Um... Oh. And for those of you that don't know, it's it's really it, there when he refers to shots. They're just talking about camera angles. Okay. And camera, camera, moves. camera, camera, shot composition, camera focal lens, camera staging, eye level yep. direction, the types of shots, how they work with storytelling, giving examples yep. of yep. those shots. Oh, yeah, look at that. I think that's one of the most valuable tutorials we can put out. That's why it's number one. Yeah. It's going to be a very comprehensive one. For sure. So Steph, Steph had me in like a like a tizzy when you were talking to me there and you asked me a question. I had just read Steph's message where it said, can you report that merch link? And then I was like, where? Who posted some spam? Who do I got to drop the band hammer on? And I'm looking back and I can't find it. And then like I would scroll back down. It, I read it again and said, no, report that merch link. So I looked back up and I couldn't find it and went back down. And then, like, I just saw, like, right below it where it said post. And it's like, oh, repost that merch link. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> so, but my heart was, like, all a flutter. Like, who do I got to, oh, bring it. I'm here. I'll get rid of them. Boom. No, no, there was no, no one to ban. It was just repost the link. So. That's, that, it's okay. that's kind of funny. Oh, 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 uh, it, oh, it's oh, very oh, humorous. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> me, me wink. Uh, All right. 
Let's see what this looks like, just for kicks and giggles. Now that we insert. Confirm. All right, so. You were saying? Oh, no, I'm, I'm trying to get this. I got to do a stroke right here. Looking good. Well, I'm going to do this one really fast because I feel like I've I got the wrong one. Darn it. That needs to go over there. All right, it's really quiet, man. I don't like it. You got to keep talking when I'm when I'm silent. You know, I got to be honest. I've asked like three questions, but I was on mute. So okay. <laughs> so that's, that, all that, right, that, I just like we're ignoring. Me. <laughs> that is like not cool. Oh well. My wife walked in and was like asking me a question, so I was like, "Okay, I'll mute." And then I just kind of came back and figured, tell you know, you, tell your wife that was it, not cool. So, uh, the last question I remember asking you was, "Do you feel like there's a difference between swimming through space versus swimming through water?" Uh, there's a di yeah. Uh, the difference is there's no resistance in space. 
Ah, okay. So how does that change your drawing for it? Uh, there's there's just simply no resistance, so it it might the timing might be faster. And I'm I'm sort of trying to figure that out as I do this first pass. I'm going okay. What is what does that look like? What does that first pass look like, which is what I'm doing right now? And then Billy Jean had a question came in. He says, sorry, I'm going to die if I don't ask this. Uh -oh. Any tip on how to... Okay, so... Billy uh, Jean, all right. not yes. my... <laughs> Any tips on how to approach she hates me when learning I do that. to draw She always gets annoyed with me. I can tell. Go ahead. Sorry, Billy Jean. How to draw a character that is not yours and do it in the best and fastest way. I'm asking this mostly for animation and stuff that goes before that. Mm. So I think you mean like if you're handed a character sheet in production, you didn't necessarily design the character, but... It's your like it's now your job to animate it. Is that what you're talking about, Billie Jean? We'll have to wait for the delay, but we're waiting into uh, with great anticipation for your answer. She could always ask me during draw over, uh, during coffee and draw too. This is also a good good point for those of you that are. Uh, Twitch subscribers or Patreon subscribers, if you're in the Discord, you get to do a uh, small group coffee and draw with Travis uh, during the week. And that's how I know, and that's how I know the wonderful and talented Billie Jean. She's, she'll be like, oh, that was nice. the elbows and then it would flip back into this drawing I have to loop it back into this drawing somehow which actually is not bad see here did did uh, Billy ask you or did she clarify? yes to clarify to clarify it's sorry for not clarifying uh, talking about like keeping it on model like drawing it in a way that it came down from production it's not your creation but how do you go about making sure uh, that um, you're learning how to draw the character properly. I think we talked about this a little bit in the past, but it's a good refresher for you to go over. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's possible. We did talk about this. Uh, how to keep it on model. Uh, how to keep it on model when you, when you didn't create it. It didn't come from your well, head. They, hopefully the person that gave you the model sheets... Like me, you know, if you did the master class, uh, you had enough information to have for the shape language. Um, depends on how much they give you in terms of turnarounds. 
um, what they want you to, to, how they want you to move the character around. Uh, are they giving you the front view, side view, back view? Are they giving you expressions, extreme poses? Uh, once you have those, um, keep them literally in your file when you're working on, on the, the project. If you're doing it traditionally, have a copy of it. Um, we used to we used to blow up our characters and then just kind of match them to make sure that they were, they were in proportion. We would just kind of look at it if we needed to like put a light table underneath and put our model sheet and just kind of put our character over as we're animating just to keep it on uh, proportionately on model. Um, if that makes sense. You hear Captain Underpants? They're obsessed with Captain Underpants. I don't know why. <laughs> and, it's a good book. Well, not to mention that the boys are like they're obsessed with butts now. Every, every time you get a butt or a butt joke or something with a butt drawing, uh, because they teach you in Captain Underpants how to draw a butt, they absolutely love it. They should watch Ren and Stimpy. Uh, no, they should not watch Ren and Stimpy. That's too adult for them. I don't know how old they are. but uh, They are five and seven. All right, yeah, it's a little adult. Yeah, so uh, would you watch? let your kids watch that show? I don't think so. No, but I totally watched it in like third and fourth grade, so... Yeah. But I shouldn't have. No. You shouldn't have. That is, Wait. That is very true. Drew lives in the town where Captain Underpants takes place. In the underwear capital of the United States. What is the underwear capital of the United States? Uh, uh, I, that's a good question. I don't know. Dylan said uh, Captain Underpants was his first animation teacher with those flip pages. Are Have you, you ever seen it? No. So in the book, they'll have you take like one page and you like flip the page back and forth and you can see the character fly or whatever they're doing. Oh, really? All right. So Drew, there's no way I'm going to pronounce this right, but it's Paquia, Ohio. Used to have three underwear factories there. Uh, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Are people proud of the fact that um, Captain Underpants came out of there? I I hope so. <laughs> Drew said, "Now don't DDoS me now." <laughs> uh, and it's pronounced Pickwa. Okay, cool. You're a Pickwa. Hey. Pickwa. So I went recently, I've decided that we're going to do some camping, like maybe a little more glamping, but camping. Uh, I'm not, I'm not on the, the whole hiking uh, by, you know, f water filtration systems quite yet. Okay. Uh, but, you know, um, interested in camping. So. Went and picked up a bunch of gear, ordered some stuff on Amazon, priced a bunch of stuff out. So in the coming weekends, I'll be able to go camping on the weekend. You know, I uh, that's what I used to do all the time when I was, you know, younger. We've done, we did a, a little bit of glamping, Chocho and I. Yeah? Yep. Uh... I, I wouldn't say I was the best person to go camping. Well, no, actually, it was good. It was good. Um, I'm working. Huh? I'm hoping, that, I'm hoping that my kids will learn to play D&D &D in the future, and we can play D&D &D when we go camping. I, I, think, I think that's possible. I think that, I think that would be pretty amazing. 
to, to do a whole D&D camp. Um, yeah. Now that I've, I'm on my first campaign, it is pretty cool. Yeah. So, Romans, uh, I'm not sure where we're going. Probably national parks, um, local areas around here in, in uh, central Alabama or north of Alabama, Birmingham. Um, but uh, so I used to be a Boy Scout, so I've done a lot of camping like over the years. But yeah, okay. Do I know chess? Um, like how to play the game chess, the board game? Yes, I know how to play chess. Confused by the question. I'm waiting for the rebuttal. Um, Drew said, "At another fun fact, I got on the news once." And it was only me sitting in a car saying, Piqua. <laughs> That's claim to fame. Piqua. Uh, Piqua. Piqua. Uh, yeah, Dylan, I think it would be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. So, um, oh, okay. So you used to play chess when you go camping. Yeah, chess is a cool game. Right now with my kids being, th they'll be four and six soon. Um, I'm not sure D&D or chess is the right game for them, but there are some games we can play. Like, they like to play Guess Who and some other stuff, so we'll, uh, we'll do that, and then we'll find some fun activities to play with them. That's cool. Yeah! Super exciting. So I've got some packages showing up on Amazon this week. And then I get to uh, go by REI. Do you guys have REI by you? Me? Yeah. I love REI. Yeah, the, yeah. the REI, there was an REI by in Seattle um, that we would go to. Uh, Choto and I would always go to that. Um, uh, Steph said, guess who is awesome? Who? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with Steph. Who's awesome? Steph, who's awesome? I'd say you. I don't know. There's a three minute delay. We gotta wait. <laughs> Maybe it's 30 seconds. Oh, the game. Guess who is an awesome game? Yes, you're correct. Guess who is an awesome game? We have a couple of versions of Guess Who. Uh, Guess who Star Wars is probably my favorite. It's a it's a blast. It's a real hoot. The problem is is that because I do statistics and game analytics all day long, I'm actually like going for the shortest possible route of questions, yes or no, to, in order to find the answer the fastest. So the only way to to defeat me is out of sheer luck. But you know, <laughs> it's the kind of games I like to play. All right, let's the moment of truth. I don't even know. Should I even show it to you to see if it works or not, or should I bring it up here and I, look? Um, I definitely want to see it. I think you should definitely press play. Uh, I, I have no idea if it's going to work, guys. I really don't know. All right, so some things are not working. All right. Hold on. I know what to do. I'm waiting for the pig swim still. I saw it on the other screen, but there it is. Um, I don't hate it. I think it's a little fast, like constantly fast. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm varying the timing. Yeah. All right. So this one... All right, 
here we go. I'm going to color this real quick. And then we'll and then vary the timing. You only have 11 minutes. I think it's just varying time and point. I think the color version goes on social. No, I'm, I can. I'm just doing a black and a gray a gray tone on this real quick. All right, all right. Drew said the tail could use some follow through or something. Uh, yeah, of course, of course it can. You can use some follow through, Drew. So Steph said, can you talk about the things that stand out to you that need to be fixed versus just saying that uh, it needs it, some stuff's not right? Um, I, what I'll do is a second pass uh, where I'll knock this back. And I will, uh, since this was a, a straight ahead, what we call straight ahead animation, um, there are overlapping things like Drew pointed out, Drew, like Drew pointed out, the tail the tail's not working because um, it needs a little bit more overlap. I will go back in and, and do the tail last once I fix uh, certain mechanics. I'll probably push certain poses. The general idea is there, um, but I'm definitely going to put push the kicks more, uh, push the arms more, vary the timing. I'm going to alternate the timing a couple of times, 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 couple. And, uh, Times. yeah. But this will, this, uh, coloring the shape right now will just help me get a good idea of, uh, silhouette. What's working, what isn't working. Uh, because really it's all about clear silhouette to make sure that this feels like he's swimming in space so you can see how I quickly was able to color this uh, I think I think the, the stretch of the chest forward is okay. I think pushing the legs more is definitely something that needs to be at play. Uh, the, the tail itself. Uh, but here's the thing that's interesting about the tail. The tail won't have a lot of stretch and squash because there's no resistance and overlap. So what would that look like? And maybe I would, I, I might even push the, the legs, the hips more, bring one leg, bring the leg up more, bring the, the drop this foot down more. Let's see here. Uh, kick. I like the delay in the arms. Steph said that she would uh, make adjustments to the back arm so it appears smoother because it goes behind the body. Do you feel like it has a bit of a pop? Uh, yes. So, for instance, if we looked at this... Um, Overall, we do another layer over the top. So this would be let's find let's find our extreme. So I'm wondering if we want to bring this leg up more and this leg down more here. And this part, and then this. We do more of a triangle shape.
meaning keeping this like that. And then that would come down further, stretch that out more. I'm wondering for this extreme, I think they're watching Sword in a Stone. I just watched that the other day. Twice. Twice? Yeah. Nice. One time my kids fell asleep. One time when they were awake. The only thing that frustrates me about that movie is I feel like the storytelling wraps up so fast. Uh, I feel like... Well, it's a featurette. It's not a full feature. Yeah. So...
But it's still an hour and 20 minutes. Sword of Stone is an hour and 20 minutes? I always thought it was yeah. shorter. Oh, well, then it's okay. It's a, it's a, it has no really good ending. <laughs> That's the problem. It, it, it's not that the ending's not good. I feel like the, the, the ending is the climax. There's no resolve. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. But Madame Mim, I mean, she's awesome. The whole uh, battle. Yes. It's amazing. Let's see here. If you were saying Sword and Stone is so much fun. Favorite style from that era. Yep. It's only an hour and, what, 10 minutes? Agreed, Wink. It's like a journey, 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 the end. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I, I love it. I'm, don't get me wrong. I think the movie's well, great. Well, it's because, because it was like, oh, of course, of course. You know, you're so-and-so from blah, 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 and da-da-da-da-da. And then that was the end. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, oh, okay, great. You know, King Arthur, all hail King Arthur. And then, like, boom, that's the end. Like, it was, it was it's it's short. It's like, a, it's very abrupt. Um... Love seeing Sebastian's cabinet performance in that, though. Yeah. Agreed. Um, hopefully Disney starts producing more animation features for Disney+. Plus. Uh, Carl said, I tried to do a little bit of animation and failed miserably. Carl, it, it is just practice and repetition. Love and passion, too, but practice and repetition. Wow. Well. Thought about naming one of the uh, cats Archimedes, and I was like, "How do I shorten Medes? <laughs> you just name him Arch, Archimedes. I would just say the full name every time, Steph. Like Archimedes is just a great name. Uh, Roman said, a... "Go ahead." Go, no, go ahead. Oh, Roman said, wasn't uh, Sword and Stone made incredibly cheap? Uh, this is a Travis question. What the answer? Uh, you know, I have no idea. I wasn't born during that time. I couldn't tell you. I'm, I am not... I know, and, Barry and Temple... Contrary to popular belief, I am not a... Um, how should I say? I am not... A, uh, a person who is a knowledgeable uh, of Disney animation. I, I'm going to go with you. You're definitely knowledgeable, but a lot, I think a lot of it comes from your insider knowledge. But I'm not a um, historian. I do. Yeah. And that's, that's, I just worked, that's I, I just worked on um, historical films. Yeah, exactly. You're a piece of history. So, uh, what do you call it? Do you remember Barry yeah. Temple? So Barry was an intern on The Sword and Stone. That was his first time, like ever working at Disney. And uh, he worked on, I can't remember the name of the character, but the the bad guy is like a assistant. Okay. Uh, cast. I need the cast list. Gosh. Um... Oh. Man, little goblin. What was the name of the goblin? Uh, 
The goblin? Yeah, like Madame Mim's uh, little, like, assistant. She didn't have a goblin. There was someone... All right, now I'm just going to pull the there was movie. No, she didn't have anyone. She was by herself. There was like a creature that kind of like limps across the bridge into the through the doorway. No. That was that's that's Secret of the Cauldron. Is that Secret yes. of the Cauldron? Sorry, dude. Oh the black cauldron, sorry. That's a black cauldron. That's it, black cauldron. Sorry. No, I, I got I got the two blurt. And Madame Mim Are you there? Is not um she's part of Sword in a Stone. So Yeah yeah, I was confused. It happens. Yeah, it does. Anyway, very 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 worked on the goblin guy that comes over the bridge through that yeah, doorway. I was gonna say I was gonna say he was culture, too young and that's he was too young to work on Sword in a Stone. Yeah, he worked on Black Culture. My bad. That's okay. So I'm trying to... I believe this needs to be up higher here. And this needs to be down lower here. And then this needs to come through. I feel like it needs to come back just for just a little bit. Thanks, Steph. Steph kind of defended me, said they both have a little medieval thing going on for them. They got a little shook up in the head. It's cool. Yeah, it well, you know, don't let it happen too often. I try not to. Basically did a second pass on this. Roman's knowledge and general like awareness of people and directors and movie history Is and on point. Uh oh. I lost, I lost Wink. Let's see if we can get, get Wink again. Uh-oh. Is 
It's all blue right there because he's not online. We might have lost him. It's very possible, guys, that we lost Wink. Uh-oh. Well, we got 15 of you guys still here, which is good. I don't know what's going on with Wink. Wink. Let's hope, uh, oh, he lost internet. Uh-oh. From the storm. Yep, lost internet. He can, he can keep chatting with you guys. Uh, let's see here. I am going to then, if that's the case, I am going to, uh, We're going to switch it. There we go. All right. Now we're here. So um, I've got my, I still got my stream up so I can see you guys on my, on my thing. Let's, let's do this. Anyways, I believe you're saying Romans is on point with his knowledge, his knowledge of, uh, directors and that kind of thing, which is cool. I am not. So uh, you guys can educate me on that stuff. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to go, let's say, you can do this. All right. That means this is going to be somewhere right here. That one. Think right there. Heck, I practically animated this whole damn thing. Again. Uh. All right, and then this one, we need to, if I'm gonna do this, we need to bring, let's uh, see here. All right, this one, I'll just wing this one. If we keep this like this. That's what I'll do. I'll put this right here. I do think probably need to do this.
There, I'm gonna do, okay, that's what I'll do. That right there. I'm gonna take a chance. All right, let's see here. Last time I winged something, I helped make it a short film that ended up being in a few horror film fests. Winging it often works when you know what you're sort of doing. Yeah, yeah, I would say that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, all right, let's, let's just even, let's knock these back down. Let's just even see if this works. All right, so I already can see something's not working. Well, let's get rid of, hold on. Let's hide these for a second. Let's just play this. Oh, <laughs> that leg. Yeah, I just made things worse. Actually, no, yes and no. I need to, I like this extreme. This is where I screwed up. this leg in here. That leg can come down there, there. That one can go right there. That one can definitely go there. This one. Right here. That ringing noise, I have to hear that all the time. I think that's the water pressure. All right, let's see if that even. Oh, I see. You don't. We want this clear. All right. Ah, that's what it was. That needs to come down here. That needs to come right here. Then that needs to come 
there. That needs to come down. All right, it's getting better, but I'm still messing up that leg. So I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. What makes, uh, Roman says, what was it like almost getting stuck? That's nuts. Oh, Carl Hawkins, that's awesome. Well, listen guys, since he's not available and I seem to be making that leg worse. Let's let's look at the old one again. I want to look at the old one. I think what is working from the first one. Let's take a look at that one again, second one. Is the shape, let's see here. that shape going into that shape I'm going to do one more pass on this not tonight but I'm going to do one more pass and then I'll then I'll then I'll show it um, I'll post it but there's I definitely feel like there's certain elements working and what's not working on this thing uh, I'm going to get rid of that I'm going to go back to this What you can do, what I'm probably going to end up doing is look at two, the two separate things. Now that I've done it straight ahead and I've looked at and I've done a second pass and I'm not happy with the second pass, then the third pass is going to look more on the mechanics of there's a ball here. Oh. Go up right there. That's a ball, that's a ball. How I'm gonna do the stretch, and how I'm gonna do the squash. Because the legs, now I can, I'm, I can either do kick kick, or what I'm doing is I'm doing this, more like a, a doggy paddle more like a big doggy paddle style with the back legs as well and the and breast strokes for the front legs. Um, I could do, if I was to do something like this style-wise, I could do something like this. Which is more like a doggy paddle. He, she could be doing this kind of thing. Going around in a circle. Um, which could be fun. If I'm doing this, I could be doing almost like she's swimming in water, but she's not swimming in water. What do you guys think of that? Uh, oh, Roman says the lightning almost hit a tree in front of us. Wow. That's crazy. All right, guys. So it's it's uh, it's about that time. I got to get going because I got work to do. I actually have some work I got to get done. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and and wrap this one up. I'll do another uh, I'll do another pass of doing making this uh, doggy paddle work. But this is great because it's gonna give me a chance to kind of get myself um, doing some animation again on this, which is awesome. This is what she would look like from the front.
Anyways, I am going to call it, I'm going to call it on this one for now. All right. So you guys, uh, let's see here. Sounds like I, we got a deluxe stream tonight. Thanks, Travis. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, I will definitely get back with you on this. I'm not going to let this go until I get this right. And when you see it, it will look right. But it, it wasn't actually that far off. I think I made it worse the first time around. But um, again, we'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and uh, do a second pass on this. And uh, see it one more time. It's not too bad. But I'm definitely going to do some fixing on those, those legs one more time and the mechanics of that body. Um, figure out that that stroke a little bit better. But yeah, clearer silhouettes, nice overlap on the, put a better overlap on the tail, push the kick just slightly more, I think, and we should call it a day. But it's not too bad overall. Anyways, guys, have a great one. Um, I will talk to you next Monday. And if you haven't got a chance, go out there and try to buy one of our t-shirts. I'm getting one, uh, hopefully soon. I have to get, I have to order it through Wink to get mine. So there you go. Wink has to ship it to me. Anyways, you guys have a great night. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. And as always, um, come back, hang out with us, draw a little bit. And uh, yeah, sorry, Wink. Sorry you lost internet. Bye, buddy. All right, take care, guys. Let me uh, get the intro video and we are out of here. See ya. Nope, I guess we're not out of here yet. Now we're out of here.